Typically there's two types of hydrostatic valves. A 50 mil hydrostatic valve and a 40 mil hydrostatic valve. The hydrostatic valve was designed for ground pressure to allow the water to come up through the hydrostatic valve and be released back into the swimming pool. This is to avoid your swimming pool from lifting and shifting. The 40 mil hydrostatic valve obviously works the same way, where the water pressure goes in through the bottom of your pool and back released into your swimming pool. Most swimming pool leaks tend to happen from the seal, which is in between the hydrostatic valve. That top seal tends to deteriorate, which means that the water is able to flow from the pressure inside the swimming pool out into the ground. So typically you have to change your hydrostatic valve every five to seven years is what's recommended. The same would obviously apply to the 40 mil. Now, in order to remove the hydrostatic valve, what you're going to need is a hydrostatic valve removal tool. The hydrostatic valve removal tool fits into the hydrostatic valve like this. And you just twist it in and then you can twist it into the swimming pool or twist it out. For the 40 mil hydrostatic valve you will obviously need a hydrostatic valve removal tool that is 40 mil in diameter instead of 50 mil in diameter. Now you might be wondering where your hydrostatic valve is located. At the bottom of a swimming pool you will typically find what's called a main drain lid that looks similar to this. This one is a Waterco brand. In order to access your hydrostatic valve you will need to remove the main drain lid in order to reveal the hydrostatic valve that is inside. Once you've located your hydrostatic valve you grab your hydrostatic valve removal tool, place it in and then start to twist out your hydrostatic valve. Until the hydrostatic valve has been completely removed. You will be left with a hole at the bottom of your main drain lid and it's very important to not get this hole clogged or blocked in any way. You will notice that at the side of your main drain there may be another hole. That hole there through the side connects to the skimmer box. In most cases you will find that that hole is already blocked. This is because that system does not tend to work. Once you're finished doing what you need to do and you want to refill your swimming pool, you grab your hydrostatic valve, you put it back into place, twist it a little bit if need be, You find your valve again, place it in, and you start to twist it on. Once you find it's tight, you give it a half turn, but you don't release it or tighten it any further. You remove the hydrostatic valve removal tool, place the lid back on with the screws that it may need to stay in place and then you've already removed your hydrostatic valve and put your hydrostatic valve back in.